I want to invite you to close your eyes. Just bow your head. Just get in a comfortable spot. Just take a moment in the quiet. For me, it helps to just focus on my breath for right now. Just kind of shut everything else out. I'm going to read through some scripture. I'm going to guide us all through some thoughts to let God just speak to us today. But right now, just focus on getting your mind quiet and just breathe. For some of us, it's just, it's been a while since we've really had time to talk with God. Just take a few moments. Just imagine you're in a room. Imagine God is sitting with you. I mean, the Bible says one day God will be among us. He's going to walk with us, talk with us. This is natural. It's what's coming. Imagine he's with you. Think about what that feels like. What does the room look like? What does God look like? Are you sitting in chairs or a couch? Is it a room that's all lit up or is there soft lighting? Is God in front of you? Is he next to you? Do you feel glad to be there? Does it make you a little nervous or anxious? Just take a few minutes. Just imagine sitting down with God. Don't say or pray anything. Just be in his presence. Now just imagine God brings out a box and he hands it to you. It's a storage box, like when you put it in an attic. Imagine that box contains all the thoughts in your head right now that give you concern. The thoughts that cause you to worry, the thoughts that you're anxious about. Some of us have big boxes, some of us have little ones, but don't open it yet. Just sit with that box. God, we know that you know everything. You know all our thoughts. In Psalm 139, David says, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. Point out anything in me that offends you and lead me along the path of everlasting life. So Lord, let's start with just one small thing. Search me and know my anxious thoughts. Of all the thoughts that are in that box, I just want you to take the lid off and just take out one small thought, something that you're struggling with right now, that you're anxious about. And you know, if this is too much for right now, just sit there with God. You don't need to open it. But if you can, take out one thought you've been wrestling with, a small one, something that's manageable for the time that we have. And if at any time you start to feel overwhelmed thinking about it, it's okay to put it back. Just be there. But if you have that thought in your hand, pray this prayer with me. Search me, O God. Know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. So now imagine you have this thought in your hand. Now look at God. Ask him, is this true? God, is this thing I'm worrying about? Is it true? If it's not true, I want you to imagine standing up, walking over to the trash can and throwing it out. Actually imagine that, just toss it out. And as you look at that can that you've just thrown it out in, you can even say this under your breath, that's a lie. I refuse to own it. So if the thing you're holding on to is true, look again at God and give it to him. Hand over that thought, hand over that anxious thought. 
Lord, there are things that we need to work on. There are things that we need you to work on us so that we can work on it. Please take this from us right now. Help me to trust that you will show me how to deal with this because I got too many things I'm dealing with right now. Lead me, guide me, I pray. And we know from God's word that we have confidence that we can give to God what we can trust it to God, that he loves us, he wants the best for us, that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Now sitting there with God, imagine he turns to you and says these words from Isaiah 41 and 43. But now this is what the Lord says. He who created you, Jacob, he who formed you, Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name, you're mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they won't sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze, for I am the Lord, your God the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. And I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. And as our time comes to a close, remember that you have thrown out the lies. You have given over the things that you need to work on, and God can be trusted. He's for you. He's always thinking of you. Amen.